Don't agree? Fight me. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brad here. Today I have come to check out the Royal Thai Air Force Museum out on the uh, edges of Bangkok. Full disclosure, I'm baking nerd cookies today. I, uh, I like planes. Fight me. This is one of heaps of places you can get to just using the SkyTrain, which is handy because the train is air conditioned and Bangkok is very hot. And that won't cost you more than 62 baht. What a bargain. All right, now they seem to direct you to the inside bit first. We're gonna break right, we're gonna head down here. But you wanna leave the inside stuff for last. This plane goes pew, pew, pew. It's a pew, pew plane. Engines in the middle and it's powered by a fan. Also good for cooling down large areas quickly. Have oh, well, a look at this beastie beast. Oh, look out, we've got a low rider here. Looks like the uh, hot rod community got a hold of this one and uh, they've chopped it down. Praise the lowered. No. Gotcha. A couple of big boys here. Okay, now we're going right up in the back door here. <laughs> right up in it. <clears throat> yep, I said it. And we're headed for the cockpit. Just curious, who thinks of these names? Cockpit. Pew pew. Pew pew. I am kind of obsessed with this plane. It's a funny plane, man. It doesn't look like it could even fly. Oh, look at that. Even the awning is shaped like a bunch of wings. Yeah, if you know, you know. All oh, hail the Huey. Uh, this guy's a beastier beast than the beastie beast I found around the corner. Pack some serious boom boom. And pew pew. See, pew pew. They got a small restaurant and souvenir shop here as well. This Thai omelette with pork, 45 baht. Value. Praise the lowered. Dude, it's a MiG. I've never seen a MiG up close before. This one was a gift from Vietnam. Even with the uh, powder blue party dress paint job, this thing still looks like it woke up ready to totally on someone's day. Powder blue party dress. What is that? <laughs> All hail the MiG. Behold the Spitfire. Mighty, mighty Spitfire. Everybody bow down. All hail. Don't agree? Fight me. Harrier jump jet, everyone. Bow down. Bow down. Bend the knee. Bow down. All right. Now that's a serious attack craft, that one. This one's just screaming, do not mess with me. Not really. Yeah, you can see the railings there for the ejector seat. Pew. We're in a warehouse full of choppers here. They call that the penetrator. Seriously, I am not making these things up. Cockpit penetrator. That's what they call this shit. Okay, have a look at this. In the back seat's got this nice, soft springy car seat. The poor pilot has to sit in a friggin' metal deck chair. Where's the love? Like you make out in this one, and this is like an instrument of torture. <laughs> so as big as this thing is, you've got to climb up and then drop your seat and then set your ass down. Otherwise I guess you're climbing in through the window. Alright, this is my new favourite chopper. Have a look at this guy. You've got two rotors, mate. It looks like they've taken a combi. You know what a combi is, right? You know, the old combi van. They've chopped the front off and put a big glass front on it. Put some big gaping doors at the back. And dirty great nozzle. Not quite sure why they'd need the skis. <laughs> Not a lot of snow to land in. 
combi copter. I love it, mate. It looks like something that would pop out of Thunderbird 2. You know what I'm talking about when I say Thunderbird 2. If you don't, you're wrong. Simple. All right, you all seen MASH? You all seen MASH, right? Everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say MASH. Oh, I found on this one busted. These boys are all a bit damaged. They have a bit of a condition. Most people flying them don't look too good either. Mate, your arms sort of come off. That's down, mate, look at me. Look at your arm. Another big beasty beast. Big fan of that wooden steering wheel. Gotta tell you, <laughs> looks like plywood too. Tough stuff. Jump jet, all hail. Spitfire, all hail. This is why we leave going inside till last. Aircon, I do not need to explain that. Right? Hit the towel bin and check out the next lot of exhibits in air conditioned comfort. See now when Volvo make an aeroplane, it's boxy, but it's good. But that means the Volvo it just looks like it's a Volvo. I mean, look at that. Screens Volvo. We call that a donk. That's a donk. Big donk. Little donk. Can't seem to get into the uniform section. That sucks. Yep. Flop. What the hell, man? Okay. Check out the pew pew. Pew, pew, pew. Some seriously big pew. The planes have all been restored, so they look a lot more specky. Uh, plus, the air con's on. So, take your time inside, guys. Enjoy the air con. This is the entrance. This is where I should have started, but it's where I'm finishing. Because I'm finishing in air conditioned comfort. Work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Cool. I would have paid to come to this one, but it's free, folks, and you can get here on the BTS. Station's right behind me. There's a restaurant and snack bar. It's only open from 9 till 3.30. All right, so I'm going to head back, get back on the train. Hope you dug it. If you did, hit the buttons that show you approved, yeah? I'm trying to uh, restart the channel. So I've come to Thailand to do that, and this is basically my first video. So forgive me, it's a bit rough. I'll get there. I will see you again in the next one where we will explore something else that we can get to on the BTS. Remember, get a little join in life. We all need it. And I will catch you on the flippity. Floppity. 